Welcome back to our learning course. In this lesson, we will use what we learned in the lessons on learning actions and learning values to understand how animals can learn sequences of actions. First of all, let's see what is the problem. Imagine we want to train a rat to perform two actions. First, it has to pull a chain to turn on a light and then push a lever to get food. So what the rat sees is first the light off, here the black light bulb. If it pulls the chain, the light goes on. Here it is. At this point, if it pushes the lever, it gets food. Here it's our usual pizza slice, and also the light turns back off. Pushing when the light is off does not work. The rat has to first turn the light on, and then it can push the lever to get food. Now, pushing the lever is rewarded with food, and so this is simple instrumental conditioning. We know it works, and we also have a theoretical model for instrumental conditioning derived from the roscone wagner model. So we expect the rat to learn this part without much trouble. But how can the rat learn to pull the chain to turn the light on? This is an action that is not rewarded, as seeing the light on is not a reward to the rat. How can the rat learn this first action? One way it could work is this, which I call the reasoning rat. The rat could first notice that pushing the lever works only when the light is on. And then it could notice that it can turn on the light by pulling the chain. Then it could put these two things together and reason that it must first pull the chain and then press the lever. But we are actually not sure that rats can reason this way, and experimental psychologists have realized that the simpler way to learn sequences is by using conditioned reinforcement. Let's see how that would work. At the top here, we have the sequence that we need to learn. Now, at some point, the rat can pull the chain just by chance because it is hungry and so it is exploring the environment to see how to get food. When the rat pulls the chain, the light goes on. But because seeing the light on is not rewarding, the rat does not learn anything from this experience. Suppose now that the rat is lucky, and it pushes the lever when the light is on. This gives food. At this point, learning happens, and according to what we have seen about learning actions and learning values, two things will actually happen. First, the associative strength for pushing when the light is on goes up because this action has just been rewarded. This is what we saw in our lesson on learning actions. This is step three here that says that the associative strength of pushing when the light is on goes up. The second thing that happens and that eventually will solve the problem for the rat is that the value of the light on also goes up. The reason is that the light on has just been followed by food. So from what we know from the lessons about conditional reinforcement and about learning stimulus values, the rat will start liking the light on, so to speak, in the sense that it will start to find it rewarding. This is the second part of step three here. The W value, which is the stimulus values of the light, goes up. So now seeing the light on is rewarding to the rat. This is great news, because the next time that the rat pulls the chains by chance and turns the light on, it will feel a reward. This means that the associative strength between the light off and pulling will go up a bit. And this is summarizing point four and five here. This goes in the right direction because it means that the next time the rat will be more likely to pull the chain when the light is off because now there is a little bit of associative strength for doing that action. So we can see that using conditional reinforcement, the rat can learn an action that is necessary to get a reward later on, but it is not itself rewarding. The conditioned reinforcement works as virtual value that informs the rat that it is doing something right, that is something that will be valuable later on. This learning will need some repetition of the sequence to really get going because both V and W values change slowly. But eventually we can see how the rat can learn the sequence. With this learning strategy, the rat doesn't need to reason. The conditioned reinforcement mechanism does the work of reasoning, so to speak, by carrying information about the eventual value of actions, even if there is no immediate value. Let's look at some learning curves now. Because we have a sequence of two actions, we will have one curve about learning the first action that graphs the associative strength of that action, and another curve about the second action. The curves that you see in the pictures here are not real data, but computer simulations of our learning models to show you how they work. This first graph is actually what happens without condition reinforcement. As you can see, only the second action is learned, pushing while the light is on. 
the associative strength of the first action of the chain does not increase at all because in this model, without conditional reinforcement, there is nothing that rewards this action. The second graph, instead, is what happens with condition reinforcement. The left part of the graph shows the associated strength on the first and second actions. The second action, pushing when the light is on, is learned first, because at the beginning, only this action is rewarded by the actual value of the food. But as this action is rewarded, the light on also gains conditioned value, as we see in the right part of the figure that plots the value of the light on. This happens, as we said on the previous slide, because the light starts to be followed by food as the animal learns the second action. Going back to the left part of the figure, we see that soon the light gains some condition value. And as soon as that happens, the associative strength of the first action also starts to increase. This increase is slow at first because the light still has little condition value. But as the value of the light increases, we can see that the first action is also learned rather quickly in the end. At the end, we see that both actions end up with a large associative strength, meaning that the whole sequence is performed reliably. When the light is off, the rat pulls the chain and turns the light on. When the light is on, the rat pushes the lever and gets food. In summary, we have seen a simple model of how animals can learn action sequences that doesn't require any sophisticated reasoning. The mathematical model with learning associative strength and learning stimulus values is relatively new. But as we know from our lesson on conditional reinforcement, the basic idea of linking conditional reinforcement to action sequence learning dates back to Skinner's work in the 1930s. As I mentioned in our lesson on conditional reinforcement, animal training makes a lot of use of conditional reinforcement, and understanding this concept can help us improve animal training and welfare. This lesson is over. Happy learning to everyone.